want to get to some new developments on a police chase that went from Holden, Massachusetts into New Hampshire. It ended with this violent arrest. You can see police punching the suspect several times. And this morning, an investigation is underway in both states to find out it, if officers used too much force. WBZ's Anna Myler is live in Nashua, New Hampshire, for us with the latest. Anna. And Catherine, overnight, New Hampshire's governor released a statement calling for a full investigation. Meanwhile, the suspect, 50-year-old Richard Simone, is being held here at the Nashua Police Department, expected to face a long list of charges. A police chase comes to a dramatic end in Nashua, New Hampshire. Sky eye over the scene as the suspect gets out of his truck and lays on the ground. Then officers repeatedly punch him. It was frightening to see that pull up into my driveway with me outside. Like I, it was so scary. I mean, I, I'm still shaking. Police say 50-year-old Richard Simone was wanted for crimes including assault with a dangerous weapon and failure to stop for police. Officers say they tried to pull Simone over in Holden, Massachusetts, Wednesday afternoon when he took off, leading them on an hour-long chase through two states before finally stopping on Huey Street. This is a high pressure situation. Everybody's adrenaline is pumping. WBZ security analyst Ed Davis reviewed the video and says the arrest needs to be fully investigated. But there was clearly a lot of force used in this arrest and uh, it's, uh, it, will, it will need to be reviewed. What happened in those last seconds is going to be crucial to this investigation. Melissa Aquendo says she's grateful officers were there to keep her family safe, but she's still disturbed by what she saw. I mean, he wasn't putting up a fight. He just, he got out and, and they were, you know, they were attacking him and I don't know what he did. I, obviously they weren't happy, but um, I mean, he wasn't fighting them. So it was a little bit much, I think. Massachusetts State Police say they will also be conducting a full review of this incident. Simone is expected to be arraigned later today. Reporting live in Nashua, New Hampshire, Anna Myler, WBZ this morning. Back to you, Chris and Catherine.